Hey guys, LP here from Techno Buffalo, and today we're taking a first look at Halo 3 ODST. This unboxing will serve as an intro to my actual review, which will follow after I finish the campaign and explore the new multiplayer content. So wait for that later this week. As you probably noticed, most gaming sites have already come out with their ODST reviews, and the game is getting some pretty solid scores. Especially the larger gaming sites seem to be awarding ODST high scores that leads me to question that are reviewers giving ODST a good score to avoid angering the Halo fans that swarm in the multiple millions? I'll definitely try to answer this question in my upcoming review. Halo ODST was initially planned as a small downloadable expansion, but I'm guessing the guys at Bungie reckon that Halo 3 has sold so much that people are definitely willing to pay a full retail price to get a little more of the Halo 3 magic. They were probably right, people will pay a full retail price, but is it justified? Can an expansion really be worth the price of a full game? This is also an aspect that I will explore in my full review. But in any case, Halo 3 ODST ended up as a standalone game, and as you can see the box promises a new hero, new campaign, and new multiplayer. There's also a sticker of Halo Reach multiplayer beta. Halo Reach is Bungie Studios' final installment to the franchise. Those who buy Halo 3 ODST will get access to the multiplayer beta. It's definitely an extra incentive for some, but it could also be a device to justify the high price tag. I also have to mention that I'm not too big a fan of widespread multiplayer betas, because when people who haven't had access to the beta buy the actual retail game on launch day for example, and start playing multiplayer for the first time, they will be getting their asses handed to them by people who have been playing the game for weeks on the multiplayer beta. I would go so far as to call this an unfair advantage. So inside the box we have an Xbox Live Gold membership trial for 48 hours. We also have a UNSC field operations guide, which is obviously the operation manual for ODST. And we also find an ad for Halo Legends animated series and for Halo Reach. The Halo ODST box contains two discs, one for the campaign and the second disc is dedicated to the multiplayer experience. But let's fire up the campaign disc and see what Halo 3 ODST is all about. Whoops. Sorry about that. Wrong console. Let's try that again. Marty O'Donnell's musical score that you're hearing in the background has always been one of my favorite things about the series. It has definitely set the tone for the world itself and the action. So I'm quite excited to hear what the composer created this time around for ODST. But that's about it for this unboxing video. I better get playing if I intend to make a thorough review on the game, so catch you later. LP signing out.